Oh, uh, I'm, I'm talking with Vita Blue. No, the thing I was going to ask you that I read in three interviews that everybody asks you about are the mysterious uh, objects that you carry in your back pocket, I think it is, during the game. You have a couple of dimes, yeah. And everybody's going busily trying to figure out what those, what those uh, represent. Has, you don't have to tell us, but has anyone hit upon it? Has anyone figured it out? Well, uh, I think one of the reporters here uh, decided that he would say uh, the 20 dimes. I mean, uh, two dimes represent uh, 20, 20 games. games, right? Yeah. So, in a way, that's what they were for. And I haven't added a third one shooting for 30, but uh, I still use the two dimes every time I pitch. Yeah. I understand you're a great fan of the flute uh, as, a, as a musical instrument. Uh, what did I hear about? Oh, your roommate plays uh, the flute. Tommy? Yeah. I'm not a great fan. I'm just a, a person who's suffering under those conditions. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's really not that good, but... Uh, Does he know this? Well, he does now. Yes, I yeah. hope so. He yeah. makes a sound. It, it makes a noise, that's all. The fact that you slam the door and leave when he plays doesn't bother him, I guess. No, but the slamming of the door and his playing really combined together makes a good sound. <laughs> <laughs> so a new kind of harmony. Uh, can you spit on the ball in baseball today? What if they catch you spitting on the ball? Uh, well, I've never done that, but I'm sure one of the nice men in blue would promptly, uh, if there's a run on base, yeah. the base runner would advance, or if there isn't, uh, they would. They get to go. I never knew that. Yeah. They advance the runners. A free pass. Yes. If if they if the guy spits on the wall. Uh, I think that's on the mound. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think you can really put anything else on the ball besides your hand. Well, anything yeah. artificial. Yeah. And uh. Can you, you spit can. on the batter? <laughs> See, I'm trying to get you to know that I know baseball. I'm, no, you can't. Yeah, I, it was a silly question, silly and I, question. I I take it back. Um, you're, you're, you're so hot now, you know, as they say, like in show business, when an actor is very hot, you're on the cover of magazines and you're everywhere. Uh, do you wish some of that would go away so you could just get out there and, and concentrate on the game? Do you feel it, that being in the spotlight? Uh, yeah, well, now I feel as though I'm just surrounded by people. Mm -hmm. Anywhere I go, uh, anytime I go there, there's always going to be someone that recognizes me and, uh, even sometimes if I walk the streets, uh, little kids recognize me mostly, and yeah. and I try to be nice to them, especially. And uh, they say, "Can I have uh, an autograph?" And if I go to writing, there comes the little old lady who doesn't even know me, but I have a grandson. <laughs> Sign this too, yeah. and there we go. We have a crowd full of people. I mean, a yeah. big audience there already, and I'm writing and writing and writing. Have you limited yourself to not just not doing certain things just so you don't get, I don't know what I want to say, carried away by it all, and your phone ring all the time, and well, girls throwing themselves at your feet? <laughs> uh, no, I, every hotel that we check into, uh, I immediately have my phone closed, and yeah. uh, I'll accept the long distance calls only. Long distance calls? Right. Well, I guess if anyone thinks I'm worth a yeah. long-distance call. You're, you're going to get a few now, having said that. You, uh -huh. may, you may have to think about that. Oh, what about the man in blue? Just don't call Colette. No collector. <laughs> what about the, the man in blue? Do you get along with... Uh, have you ever ha really been robbed on a... I suppose everybody has on a pitch by the umpire? Uh, no, I don't think so. Uh, after all, uh, I'm human. Umpires are human. Uh, they're just calling the play the way they see it, and uh, I make mistakes. I'm sure they're going to make some. And, uh, I think the, umpire, the umpires, in, uh, well, in the majors are real nice, and mm -hmm. uh, I very seldom talk to them. I may speak, but... Uh, you don't speak to them? I speak sometimes. Oh, I, yeah. I, Would you know them if you saw them? I mean, if two, guys, if two umpires walk by, or do you always see them in there? Some of them I can recognize yeah. out of uniform, but... I, I try not to get too common with them, and I, mm. I try to treat them the way they treat me, and that's... Yeah. Would you, if you were to look at, in the audience, for example, would you know, that man, does that man look like an umpire, for example, or, or any of those? Uh, 
Hold it. Come, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> You're kidding. You have two right here. Really? That's, I thought they were police. Uh... Let, let's go down there. Wait a minute. Have you ever actually ever touched an umpire? No, not really. <laughs> Your names, tell us your names and see if they ring a bell. Earl Anthony, Larry Really? Are you for real? <laughs> you didn't recognize them without their glasses, probably. That's right. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just thought it would be nice to see you actually meet and, and touch. Yeah, well. Yeah? That's still. Can you see us okay up from there? <laughs> Let's go back. <laughs> we, 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 we must take a message right now. Uh, from our local stations. That was our little surprise for you, but we have another one. Uh, we'll be back after this. <laughs>